Hi folks, here we are, Collins Model Railway, another update. What I have done, I've used my level as a straight edge, so I can get my track nice and straight and even. And using my track spacer, what I can see in red by here, I have got it the correct spacings, and I've actually pinned this section down by here now. And what I've done also as well, turn the camera around, if I come around this section, you may well notice some orange push pins in the track by here. I've been using my track spacer by here, got all the joints nice and tight and flush, and I've gone as far as by there for now. Put in the push pins in and we shall have a little look at a bit more tomorrow and what we've done we come all the way down here done all this track down here and you can see some more orange push pins by here and got this one nice and straight and flush as well and what we've done we've come as far as this corner by here for now My next plan of proposal for tomorrow is to do the track, as you can see, along the station area. To match into the corner where I finish up up there tonight. And we shall do you another little update on this soon again, tomorrow, hopefully. Here we are, folks. Another little update on Collins Model Railway. What we should propose to do this morning now is to pin these tracks down there by here now where you see these little push pins. I should use my spacer as I go around, make sure all the tracks are correctly spaced. Hope I'm not going too quick for you. I've done one or two pins already this morning. Use your push, use your spacer like that. There you go. You've done as far as by here. What you'll do now, pop them in there, that's in. And that's correctly spaced. And just pop the pins in now. There you go. One more test now. We shall run each coach individual and see how they go. Here's the inside one. That seems to be running pretty perfect. Now the outside one. Now we shall run them back the other way. Outside one first. And now the inside one. on Collins Model Railway. What I've done this morning is taken all the push pins out of here and I've pinned the track down properly and it is all correctly spaced apart and it is completed as far as where the goods wagon is by here for the moment. I have run a couple of coaches along here and tested it out and it's all running properly and perfect. But this evening, what I shall do, I shall give one of these little locomotives a very little run on it. And I'll show you how we do that now in a minute. Right, and all this is done. Now then, I pinned it down as far as by here, as you know. Now then, what I propose to do this evening is to put some pins in about by here. I want to put the pins in, take the push pins out. And then by here, put two pins in by here, one by here, one by here, and then take these two push pins out. And what I shall do is work my way around to where I've done all the push pins this morning by here and get all this pinned down as far as where the crossing is. 
and then I shall use my little southern class locomotive there and give it a run along the track all the way around that's it now at the moment there's no controller coupled up to the track so what I plan to do is use one of these batteries by here all I need is a 9 volt battery you see the terminals all I do is put the terminals across the track and I can assure you it will make the locomotive move as long as you've got plenty of power in the battery there you go, I shall show you that this evening here we are, Collins model for railway as you know yesterday I put up quite a few push pins in here to get the track spaced at the correct spacings then I'm all nice and straight, all flat and level I have now taken all the push pins out and as I've been going round I've been putting the proper little pins in here now when I left it this morning I have taken all the push pins out and what I've done I've pinned all the track down as far as the crossing by here I have tested it out I tried my GoPro camera on there using a 9 volt battery and only one of the tracks I've tried for now and there you go it is all running sweet as a nut and there's my GoPro camera which I very often ride on the back of a truck behind the train sometimes I switch directions on it as well and I plan to use it a bit more later this year there you go here we are we shall now put the fencing back around the track by here in these little clips as you can see by here uh, from there on I'm hoping to put a hedgerow down there and eventually some of the animals the cows sheep and one or two horses I shall put in this green belt section by here there we are that is for a future update here we go the fencing is now back in place now what I propose to do along here now with this green bear is a hedgerow I plan to stick it on here and run it in as far as the corn over there and it'll sweeten this up a little bit by here there you go Okay, bye bye. 
And those are folks I'm using a 9 volt battery. I can now turn the camera around. Turn it that way. As you see, 9 volt battery will work and look about it. Let this down a little bit on power this battery. There you go. That's it.